Helen Yee here with Eyes on the Game. I'm here at Extreme Couture being joined by the always beautiful and now vice president of One Fighting, Miss Misha T. Always great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's exciting days. I'm, I'm getting ready to move to Singapore, actually, so that I can really take on my whole role as vice president of One Championship. Well, before we talk to you about your move and when you're moving, um, how did all this come about? You know, because I, I feel like it kind of surprised quite a few people. It just was one of those things I felt like one, literally one day that I was meant to be doing something greater than what I was doing. Even though I had just had my daughter, um, you know, I, I figured... I, I still need to do something bigger and better. And it always stuck in my mind the past couple times that I had went to one championship and I had went to Singapore and I thought, I could live here. And it just came together. You know, it's just one of those things where your, your passion is a calling and you, you're willing to listen. This is where it leads you. So how long did it take all this to come together? It came together very quickly. Yeah, I think it was um, right uh, shortly after I had had Amaya that I was uh, talking to one championship. So, I mean, it, it, I would say within six months. Wow, so you reached out or they did? Well, when I had met Chatri, we had dinner twice. I had been over there, actually I was still under the UFC's banner, and he had opened the gym and was just very nice, and everyone was great over there. And then we started a conversation. He just, you know, kind of let it be like, oh, if you ever wanted to coach your Misha, you'd have, you'd have a job. And I reached out um, not about just coaching, but about being part of one championship. Now, mind you, this is before DJ or any of the, the you know, the big names over here in the U.S. had been signed. And he just said... We'd love to have you. We would absolutely love to have you and your family, Johnny as well. So Johnny's going to be competing on the, the one championship under the banner as well. And it's going to be exciting for me because, you know, I've always been Misha the fighter. And when you retire, sometimes you wonder, well, what am I going to be? Like, what, what am I after that? And this is just very reassuring that I get to put my business hat on now and I get to help other people pursue their dreams through fighting. And I'll be able to directly relate because I've been there. I'm not just a vice president. Like, I'm a fighter first and foremost. That's what I'll always relate to first. And, and I think that'll, I hope that'll help and translate well for the fighters. Absolutely. And very well-rounded in life as well. But, I mean, vice president, uh, what exactly will your role uh, consist of? Well, my role will consist of um, spreading the word, obviously, about one championship, you know, so I'll be a brand ambassador and I will be commentating at least two events live a month. So that'll be really exciting. That's my absolute favorite thing to do. You know, I've done pre-fight shows and post-fight shows, but unfolding live action is my absolute favorite thing to do. I really like to be able to explain to the fans what's going on. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I hope to be really hands-on and helping develop particularly the women's division, but, you know, kind of scoping out talent worldwide as we plan to glo grow globally. And uh, last but not least, it's heading some charity projects. You know, as I had mentioned that um, Chatri wants to end uh, world poverty, like severe world poverty. So I think that is just, what an amazing goal. Like, who can set a goal like that? You know, if, if anybody can do that, it's, it's Chachi. Um, but why one? Like, what was the thing that really stood out about that organization compared to some others? Look, if I were to run an organization myself, I would hope that I would do as good of a job as Chachri has. I think that the, the fact that he came from a martial arts background and, um, you know, he started out really poor in life, um, he has a very humble perspective on exactly what it means to accomplish greatness. And I think for me, when, when you talk about one championship, it's not just about fighters. It's not just about building fighters. It's not just about making a dollar. It's literally about building heroes. Like we're building heroes to inspire the next generation. Children who, who have, they don't believe that they have opportunity. They don't believe that they can have dreams because they're in such a, you know, economically deprived area that they don't, you know, there's no hope for college. There's no hope for, you know, when we talk about one toothbrush being able to be afforded per family, I mean, you're, you're giving dreams to these children. You know, we're speaking to those children who say, hey, look, look at look at Angela Lee, look at Stam Fairtex, you know, look at all the other world champions that are here. In, in, and that's just through hard work. And anybody can do that. Yeah, no, no doubt. I mean, heroes without capes, essentially. Um, and you mentioned your move very soon. So when do you make that move? The very end of March. Yeah, it looks oh, like something. Up. Yeah. So T minus one month. Well, will you be coming back to the States a lot? Because I, I think they did sign that U.S. broadcasting deal. 
So we did sign a multi-year deal with Turner Sports and that will air 12 one-hour segments throughout the year. And um, I, I don't plan to necessarily come back to the States a lot because of that by any means. I plan to mostly be um, in Singapore for the next couple of years. But sure, I will be passing through a little bit here and there. Will you miss it? I will. I'm sure there will be things that I miss more once I'm over there and I'll kind of figure out exactly what it is that I miss about it here. But, you know, I'm a free spirit and two years goes by so fast. If there's anything I've learned that time flies and especially when you're having a good time and I cannot wait to be a part of one championship and really kick this thing off. And so many exciting things are happening at one. I mean, today the news broke. You guys signed Vitor Belfort, and then, like you said, I mean, Demetrius Johnson, uh, Eddie Alvarez, Sage Northcutt, uh, amongst so many others. So what did you think of all those signings? Did any of that surprise you? Well, it doesn't surprise me because you look at the, the trajectory that one championship has. It was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time until, you know, it, we, we broke U.S. soil. And I think this right here, what you're seeing right now, is history being made because this is the tip of the iceberg of what one championship has to offer. This is our first time coming on U.S. soil and kind of just making ourselves known, making our presence known, and, and also just making it easier for the U.S. fan base to watch the fights. You know, between Turner Sports and Bleacher Report Live and even the One Championship app, I mean, you have access to those fights readily available. It's your fingertips that you can watch at any time. So I think the growth is just going to continue to to, to, sky, to skyrocket. And there's such a great turnout today, but you did mention um, time flies. Nearly exactly three years ago, you won the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. What is your most memorable or favorite memory of, you know, being a fighter? Well, that one has to take the cake, yeah. obviously. I mean, especially to dig deep in the fifth round and get it done the way that I did. I felt like that fight sort of just represented my entire career. Just having to dig deep and fight through adversity and, and be the underdog nine times out of ten and come from behind kind of career. So um, that moment put everything all into perspective. It was the reason why I had worked so long and so hard and why I started wrestling at 15 years old. I didn't know it then, but when I won the world championship, like that's when I knew that's why I had done all that hard work now did you ever uh, get the itch to want to go back and fight yeah and I don't want to fight um, but you know potentially do some grappling competitions and things okay. like that yeah so I'm you know I've, I've I'm done getting the broken orbitals and nose and you know all the bunks you know but I love jujitsu and that's something that I definitely want to try to stay active in and compete a little bit myself well, I'm sure you're going to do great at that. Um, but I do want to ask you, because the fight uh, was not too long ago and the women's division uh, ever growing, but Chris Cyborg, Amanda Nunez, uh, were you surprised at all You know, by that result? Well, yes, everyone was surprised by that. I mean, how could you not be? That was a, I mean, an absolutely shockingly amazing performance by Amanda. But, um, you know, I did say, and I, I believed it then because I have been hit by Amanda before. I know how hard she hits, and I knew she had the power to put away Cyborg. And I said, look, if Cyborg goes in there and she fights her like she fights everybody else, she could get herself in trouble because Amanda does have the power to hurt and knock out Cyborg. And, I mean, that's kind of exactly what we saw. You know, Cyborg fought the way Cyborg fights. And you can't knock her for that because she's been entertaining us with that, that style of fighting for a really long time. But now she has to evolve. She has to realize that there's other women out there who can compete on that level and do have the power to hurt Cyborg. So um, it was a great performance, and I, I do hope that eventually we get a rematch. And lastly, uh, what would you like to say to all your fans and, and one championship fan? Well, I would just like to say thank you all so much for supporting me throughout my career and post-career now as I transition into vice president. Um, just thank you guys and uh, stick with us because we're going to be doing great things over one championship.